We're asked to give the center, vertices, and foci of the ellipse. If we take a look at the notes below, there are two forms of the standard equation of an ellipse based upon whether the ellipse has a horizontal or vertical major axis. So in both cases, a is greater than b, and therefore a squared is the larger denominator. If the larger denominator is under the x part, we have a horizontal major axis. If the larger denominator is under the y part, we have a vertical major axis. In either case, h comma k is the center. The endpoints of the major axis are a units from the center. The endpoints of the minor axis are b units from the center. The endpoints of the major and minor axes make up the vertices. And then to find the foci, we need to find c first using the equation c squared equals a squared minus b squared. And the foci are always on the major axis, c units from the center. So analyzing our equation, notice the larger denominator is under the y part, and therefore we have a vertical major axis. An easy way to remember this is that the y axis is a vertical axis, and since the larger denominator is under the y part of the equation, the ellipse has a vertical major axis. This also indicates that a squared is equal to 25, and therefore a equals five, and b squared is equal to four, indicating b equals two. And now let's go ahead and find the center. Because we have the square of x minus four, four is the x-coordinate of the center, and because we have the square of y plus two, negative two is the y-coordinate of the center. Let's go ahead and plot the center, four comma negative two. And again, we now know we have a vertical major axis, and since a is equal to five, we now add and subtract five to the y-coordinate of the center to find the endpoints of the vertical major axis. Let's first add five. Negative two plus five is three, indicating one endpoint of the major axis is four comma three, this point here. Going back to the center, we now subtract five from the y coordinate. Negative two minus five is negative seven. Four comma negative seven is the other endpoint of the major axis. The length of the major axis is always equal to two a units. And now let's find the endpoints of the minor axis, which is a horizontal axis. Because the minor axis is a horizontal axis, to find the endpoints, we will now add and subtract b, or add and subtract two, to the x-coordinate of the center. So if we add two to the x-coordinate, four plus two is six. Six comma negative two is the right endpoint of the minor axis. Going back to the center, we now subtract two from the x-coordinate. Four minus two is two. Two comma negative two is the other endpoint of the minor axis. Notice the length of the minor axis is always two b. These four endpoints are the vertices. Let's go ahead and list them. We have four comma three, four comma negative seven, two comma negative two, and six comma negative two. And now before we find the foci, we have to find c because the foci are c units from the center on the major axis. So using the equation c squared is equal to a squared minus b squared, in our case we have c squared is equal to 25 minus four, c squared is equal to 21, taking the principal square root of both sides, we have c equals square root 21. Because we know the foci are on the major axis, and we have a vertical major axis starting at the center, we now add and subtract the square root of 21 to the y-coordinate of the center. Let's find the exact coordinates first, and then we'll get decimal approximations to actually plot them on the coordinate plane. So one focus will be four comma negative two plus square root 21, and the other focus will be four comma negative two minus square root 21. Again, we're adding and subtracting square root 21 to the y-coordinate of the center because we know the foci are on the major axis and we have a vertical major axis. And now let's go ahead and plot these points on the coordinate plane. For the first focus, negative two plus square root 21 is approximately 2.58. Four comma 2.58 is approximately here. And for the second focus, negative two minus square root 21 
is approximately negative 6.58. 4 comma negative 6.58 is approximately here. And before we go, let's go ahead and sketch the ellipse passing through the four vertices. I hope you found this helpful.